Well, cities face so many challenges in the coming century because we're going to be building cities at a pace that we've never seen before in human history. And uh, all of the um, problems associated with rapid growth that we've seen in the past will only be amplified. So traffic, crime, uh, energy efficiency, these are going to be the things that, that give mayors headaches for, for many decades to come. Well, technology alone can't do anything. Technology has to be applied. Technology is a tool. Um, and so without good leadership, uh, technology isn't going to solve our urban problems. It has to be used and it has to be used wisely. Um, and just as often, technology has unintended consequences. And a lot of um, the problems that we're now inventing all these smart city systems to solve is to undo the problems that came with the last wave of technology with motorization. I mean, we ruined our cities. We ruined the atmosphere by, by putting too many cars on the road. Um, and so now we're sort of dealing with that. What I worry about are there new risks and new unintended consequences that come as we build smart cities. And, and there certainly are. Um, just to take a, one simple example, um, most of the world's economy now depends on the global positioning system satellite network, which is not being maintained very well by the United States Air Force. And so we have to think about, are, are we building new dependencies into cities that um, will put them at risk of failure in the future? The amazing thing about uh, the new technologies and services that are coming to the market today is that um, they're increasingly democratized and peer-to-peer. -peer. So they allow people to uh, exchange knowledge, money, goods, whatever, um, directly without having to go through, say, a bank or a, a retailer or a government. Um, and it's spurring all of this civic innovation. People are basically um, figuring out how to crowdsource solutions that before they might have looked to a government or a private sector service provider. And so it's taking many different forms all around the world, but the same general concept of, of people being able to connect to each other around shared problems is something I think is really going to um, pr provide a lot of solutions to urban problems going forward. I think we are making pro progress on urban problems. The problem is that there's just, it's such an uh, immense challenge. And we have to figure out how to urbanize very rapidly, globally, at the same time that we completely re-engineer the way cities work so that they can be sustainable. And we have billions of people who are clamoring to join the middle class over the next century. And they want you know, to have a nice lifestyle. And, and we have to find a way to support it without you know, destroying the environment. And so it's, it's almost like trying to change, you know, change an aircraft engine while the plane's in flight. That's kind of the, the level of the challenge that we face. And we are making progress, but it's, it's an enormous task.